Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for May 23rd, read by Scott B. from Detroit, Michigan. AA thoughts for the day. Acceptance. And acceptance is the answer to all my problems today. When I am disturbed, it is because I find some person, place, thing, or situation, some fact in my life unacceptable to me. I can find no serenity until I accept that person, place, thing, or situation as being exactly the way it's supposed to be at this moment. Nothing, absolutely nothing happens in God's world by mistake. Until I could accept my alcoholism, I could not stay sober. Unless I accept life completely on life's terms, I cannot be happy. I need to concentrate not so much on what needs to be changed in the world as what needs to be changed in me and my attitudes. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 417, 4th edition. Note, Dr. Paul O., author of these words, passed away May 12, 2000. Thought to Consider My serenity is directly proportional to my level of acceptance. Dr. Paul O., Alcoholics Anonymous, page 417. Acronyms ABC Acceptance, Belief, Change Just for today, Inspiration from This Spirit Touch At some time, perhaps in a more moderate way, nearly everyone has experienced this spirit touch of God. The fleeting feeling of insight, love, joy, and the world is right. Once I thought that only unusual circumstances made these moments possible. Actually, I now think they are forecasts of what one can have if one is willing to take the time and make the effort. Peace, love, and joy can be sought through quiet thinking and honest prayer. The wholeness, the new awareness that is produced affects one's relationship with God and man to a degree greater than what would seem possible in ordinary life. Came to Believe, page 65. Daily Reflections, Spiritual Health. When the spiritual malady is overcome, we straighten out mentally and physically. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 64. It is very difficult for me to come to terms with my spiritual illness because of my great pride. Disguised by my material success and my intellectual power, intelligence is not incompatible with humility, provided I place humility first. To seek prestige and wealth is the ultimate goal for many in the modern world. To be fashionable and to seem better than I really am, is a spiritual illness. To recognize and to admit my weaknesses is the beginning of good spiritual health. It is a sign of spiritual health to be able to ask God every day to enlighten me, to recognize His will, and to have the strength to execute it. My spiritual health is excellent when I realize that the better I get, the more I discover how much help I need from others. As Bill sees it, AA School of Life Within AA, I suppose, we shall always quarrel a good bit, mostly, I think, about how to do the greatest good for the greatest number of drunks. We shall have our childish spatch and snits over small questions of money, management, and who is going to run our group for the next six months. Any bunch of growing children, and that is what we are, would hardly be in character if they did less. These are the growing pains of infancy, and we actually thrive on them. Surmounting such problems in AA's rather rugged school of life is a healthy exercise. AA Comes of Age, page 233. Big Book Quote If we are planning to stop drinking, there must be no reservation of any kind, nor any lurking notion that some day we will be immune to alcohol. Alcoholics Anonymous, More About Alcoholism, page 33. 24 Hours a Day, AA Thought for the Day. The twelfth step of A, working with others, can be subdivided into five parts, five words beginning with the letter C. Confidence, confession, conviction, conversion, and continuance. The first thing in trying to help other alcoholics is to get their confidence. We do this by telling them our own experience with drinking, so that they see that we know what we're talking about. If we share our experiences frankly, they will know that we are sincerely trying to help them. They will realize that they are not alone and that others have had experiences as bad or worse than theirs. This gives them confidence that they can be helped. 
Do I care enough about other alcoholics to get their confidence? Meditation for the day. I fail not so much when tragedy happens as I did before the happenings. By all the little things I might have done, but did not do. I must prepare for the future by doing the right thing at the right time now. If a thing should be done, I should deal with the thing today and get it righted with God before I allow myself to undertake any new duty. I should look upon myself as performing God's errands and then come back to Him to tell Him in quiet communion that the message has been delivered or the task done. Prayer for the Day I pray that I may seek no credit for the results of what I do. I pray that I may leave the outcome of my actions to God. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Scott, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.